Welcome to another edition of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence here on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. As always, I'm joined by the joined by the wizard himself, nephew Corey. What's going on, wizard? Hey, what's going on? Nothing much, man. Here to talk NXT Takeover Phoenix, and we're here to talk uh, the Royal Rumble 2019, man. Let's let's get this thing started like we normally do here. Let's talk a little bit NXT Takeover coming from Phoenix, Arizona this year. Uh, WWE got some great matches here on NXT and, and TakeOver I think will be as always all TakeOvers this will be a very good TakeOver uh, by the, put it on by the NXT brand um, just mm-hmm. matches are stacked matches are definitely stacked yeah all right. absolutely let's go. hey let's... can we can we delve into something give, give, give the listeners a little behind the scenes of what we do in, in show prep so I did look up what we were just talking about I did look up that final drive where Patriots Seahawks game, that that interception actually happened on second down, and the play before was uh, yeah, which you were right. They did have one timeout left. Play before though was a run by by Marshawn Lynch for four for four yards. Yeah, I think that's probably why people were upset that he didn't. But in the same vein, they only had one timeout, so. You kind of got to try to save it. So. Yeah, one time I left, you got to try to save it. I'm not mad at the slant call, um, the pick. It was just a, it was it was it was just happened back on Butler's time. It is what it is. Yeah, it, it is what Bingo. it is. You know, hey, and hey, we talked a little <laughs> football here. You know, we talk everything here on the wrestling marks of X. Let's talk football. We talk wrestling. We talk it all. Uh, we we're just sports fans. We're two guys who love sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's get an NXT takeover. We got uh, match Matt Riddle. Mm-hmm. Uh, taking on Cassius Ono here. Uh, you know, there's been a good feud on NXT. If you watched it, got, got those out there listening, have you watched NXT? You've seen these two guys go at it. I like Cassius Ono. Um, I like how he has kind of be more aggressive now. And we know Matt Riddle is the, the NXT darling, and people love him. Uh, who you got winning this one, Wizard? Uh, is there really – is Riddle still undefeated? I believe he is. Right? Yes, he is. Because you want it, it's it's almost like you want to give Ono the win, just because what uh, Riddle's already beat him like twice, I think. Yeah, maybe even more than that. But I think I'm gonna go Riddle just because it just. Well, no, you know what? If you really, I don't see it. they they don't really mention Riddle being undefeated, do they? No, nah, they don't. Do they mention, mention, just mention I don't. Then then he can afford a loss. If they weren't building it as a thing that he's undefeated, uh, give give I'll go cash just for a cheating win. As much as I want to pick Riddle because they can just keep low, it's I, Riddle's already beat him like twice. I'll I'll go for a surprise with Ono winning some kind of you know heel cheating way. I'll go on. I think Matt Riddle wins this one. I think it's not a pin or anything like that. I think he wins uh, in a fashion where Ono gets disqualified some way, some shape, somehow, and Matt Riddle okay. sneaks away with the win. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's fine. And he sneaks away with the win. Well, let's move on to the next match on the card. In my opinion, you have the Undisputed Era taking on the War Raiders. Uh, I <laughs> this one right here is a hard one for the pick for me because uh, I want to see mm-hmm. the, the War Raiders – Get the titles. I think they, they. I don't think they need it, but I can see undisputed, undisputed era maintaining it because they're just that good. They're that good. I don't think you know. Ma- I was gonna say that. That that I was gonna say that. That's so funny. You say that. That that they're my pick just because I just feel as though that's that's what's gonna end up happening. Is they're they're that good. There's no reason as good as War Raiders are. I just don't feel this is the stage that War Raiders win it on. I think Undisputed Era still sneak off and win it. I and, really do. And they're not, they don't need for them on the main roster right now, so they can go ahead and continue to run NXT. Yep. There's no need for that. So, I, hey, we agree on that. Undisputed Era gets the win over the War Raiders. War Raiders will eventually become <laughs> NXT Tag Team Champions, but just not at TakeOver. Right. <laughs> just not at TakeOver. Uh, let's move right. on here. I we have that. Ricochet... Versus Johnny Gargano. This right here, I think, will be the match of the night. I think this would be the the match that steals the show, as people want to say, for the North American title, North American Championship. This would be the match. Who do you have here? You know what? 
I'm going to go Johnny Gargano. I just, I feel as though they, at some point, if you're really going to have him in NXT, at some point you got to give him a run with some kind of belt. And I think this is where you do it. I, I, Ricochet is good. I don't think you need to have a long run with him with the belt. Because what has he been champion since when? when? When did he win the belt at? What was that? The Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Was that Brooklyn? He won yeah, it in Brooklyn. That was August, right? Yep. Yeah, it's been four months now. Yeah. It, it, I, I'm going Gargano. I'm going Johnny Gargano. I think I'm going to go Ricochet because I think Gargano has bigger pitches. I think him having the North American Championship doesn't do him justice here. I think Ricochet wins this, but I see Gargano getting the title from the winner of Aleister Black and Tommaso Ciampa. So I'm going to say Ricochet for the fact that Gargano is going to get a bigger push uh, – much bigger than the North American Championship. So I'm going to go Johnny Gargano. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I- I'll give you that. No, and then let's move on to this one. Ooh, I'm going too far. Uh, let's move on to Bianca Belair taking on Shayna Baszler. Now, this right here, I think this match right here would tell a lot what's going to happen on Sunday. This is the match that would tell what's going to take place on Sunday, mm-hmm. meaning yeah, meaning that if Bianca Belair beats Shayna Baszler, we'll see Shayna Baszler Sunday some way, some shape, somehow, whether in the Women's yep. Royal Rumble or being involved in the Ronda Rousey-Sasha Banks match. So I'm going to say that Bianca Belair, who is undefeated, will remain undefeated on NXT TakeOver Phoenix. You know what? I'm going to agree with you. I think she wins it. I think she wins the championship. I really do. I really do. There's, you know, I don't see any reason her undefeated streak should end. And the only other thing I can think of that saves face for this is that Bianca wins by countout or disqualification. And she's still undefeated but doesn't win the championship. Because that because the other thing is that I, I think Shayna, you know, some people will, will argue maybe Shayna is in a position where she doesn't need a loss either. But I think she's in a position that she's good enough that she doesn't have to. Uh, she's not going to hurt from a loss. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Bianca Belair as well. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't this the takeover that last year? That um, Ember Moon won right before the Rumble. If I'm uh, not, is it? And then she appeared yes, the next night at the it World is. Rumble. It is, it is, it is, it is. You're exactly right. And then she it appeared is. the night the next time. And I think the same thing happens. I think Bianca Belair wins, and we see her in the Rumble because she, that's who she is. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can give you that. And then we move on to the main event of the evening uh, for the NXT TakeOver. Tomasa Ciampa taking on Aleister Black. This one right here is, I think, um, going to be a slugfest. It's just going to be a Donnie Brooks. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a brawl. It's just going to be a straight-up fight. I like Tomasa Ciampa. Once again, I've been following Tomasa Ciampa since his Ring of Honor days. Uh, it's been a very good... Good run for Tommaso Ciampa. All the injuries he had, the way that he battled into the NXT, uh, battle on the Indies to get to NXT. Now of being a mm-hmm. run, if you really look at it, he has been the best heel in the WWE on both brands. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. By by far, he has been the yeah. best heel. I think he retains. It's not even the, close. You're right. I think he. I think he retains the NXT title. I think he still walks out as the champion. I think they have bigger pitches for Aleister Black. Um, he doesn't need it. And I think Tommaso Ciampa th- th- maintains and still be your NAC champion after TakeOver. I agree. Uh, I'm, I'm going Tommaso Ciampa, too. I think Aleister is one of those ones he ends up on the main roster. He may get one more rematch at it, but I think Aleister Black, will end up coming up to the main roster after WrestleMania. Either that or Aleister Black ships over to NXT UK. It's one or the other, but Aleister Black won't be in NXT past WrestleMania, I'd say. 
Nah, I don't think so neither. I don't think he passed WrestleMania. I don't think he'd be up there. Uh, pass, I beat an NXT past WrestleMania. I think he does get one more, and that he will move to the main roster. I hope they don't. I want to say dumb him down or bring his character down, but I hope they when he move him to the main roster, they have a specific spot for him, and he doesn't get be like mm-hmm. one of those guys that get lost in the sauce. Yeah, yeah, that's why he may end up going to the UK for real. Hey, I think the UK is a good place for some of those guys. The UK will be a good place for some of the guys. It's still at WWE, still performance. Uh, you still get major TV time. Everything is. I think everything will be uh, wonderful for them for him to get over there and to move to the um, the UK. They, they need another star over there, especially if they end up losing Pete Dunne, or even if they keep him. They do need another top single star over there. I know they want to build up whoever's already over there UK wise, but you need another legitimate top. European probably they they can't send any gimmicks over there don't send your you know Zach Ryder don't send any of the Americans over there that's my opinion but uh, they need something they need, and they're already good they need something else to put them over the top so yeah they need something else to put them over the top and then we go when we transition from NXT we move on to the main card mm-hmm. the main show Sunday the Royal Rumble uh, the Royal Rumble a Phoenix Arizona outdoor baseball stadium uh, home of the Diamondbacks here. The Royal Rumble will be taking place. And I've read today that the goal for WWE is to get 40,000 people in the arena or in the stadium. Good luck. The goal Good is... Luck. And the only reason why I say that is because that, something about the way they've kind of built this Royal Rumble and that market of Phoenix, I don't know if they're going to fill... If it's not WrestleMania... I don't know if they can fill forty thousand in that in that baseball stadium. They may end up doing it. It may be some last minute, real last minute, you know, influx of ticket buying. But other than that, I mean, just off of paper alone, I, I can't imagine they would sell out an arena. Absolutely, but I just think them trying to get forty thousand. Uh, they may have they may have done this as far as a test to see if they could run Royal Rumble in other stadiums. I just don't know if this may have been a good first test. So, I don't know. It could be wrong. What, how much is it? What's the average ticket price? Uh, oh, that's Champ Creed. What's going on? Um, hey, I, sorry. I'm, I'm late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You're here. So, I, I would say tickets got to – I don't know the average, but they probably got to start at like $25. It's a stadium. They, 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 they So, they, that up there – Obstructed view, it's got to be no more than twenty five bucks. Yeah, twenty five bucks. It, it, I, I would say the average is probably about probably about one something. I mean, your, your good mid tier price is probably about one something. Lower one, mm-hmm. like maybe like one ten, one twenty max. Probably like one one to one ten though. I would say. Uh, and the capacity is forty thousand. Not a co- yeah. That's what they set up for. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that one. I just don't yeah, think I don't, that the, yeah. Um, yeah, the momentum hasn't been favorable for a 40,000 seat sellout. Right. And it's a, um, it's a Phoenix market. It's, it's, it's Phoenix. It's not, yeah, it, it, it's, yeah. it's not like they're running, you know, hypothetically speaking, it's not like they're running Dodger stadium or something where it's LA or, you know, or, or the Ranger stadium in Texas. I think those markets would have been better if you're going to try a stadium for the Royal Rumble. But, I mean, you can't yeah. run it. I mean, and unfortunately, you're doing stadium. You can't run it on the East Coast because it's all cold over here. Yeah. So, unless yeah. you go to Florida. Yeah. And, and, and you can't do that because you, know, you just got the Pro Bowl down there this week. So. Yep. Which will be, uh, you know, 3 o'clock. But. What you have is this tick average ticket price is looking it up is twenty six dollars and fifty cent on Ticketmaster. Hmm. Is that the lowest? That's the, the lowest average? for the top row three hundred okay. three hundred section. Tickets are twenty six dollars and fifty cent. Yeah. Okay. See. You know, so that's the average ticket yeah, price. So. Or the oh the lowest. The lowest ticket price. The, lo- me, the, the lowest, lowest ticket price. Yeah. So. The low ticket price is oh, twenty six. Yeah, I, I'm with y'all on this one, man. I I can't I can't imagine it. You know, I, I really can't imagine them. Get, it's gonna be a lot of paper seats. 
I, I could probably see them selling if forty thousand is the number, maybe twenty five paid. You know what I'm saying? That's what I give them. I give them about twenty, anywhere between twenty two, twenty thousand to twenty five thousand seats being sold for this uh, Royal Rumble pay per view from yeah, Chase Field. Thirty yeah, maybe a stretch. I, I, I think they can get half. I, I don't. I don't see anything more than half. I did, because, like I said, you know, going into it, the momentum isn't as strong as it could be, right. uh, and you know. Give or take, the Phoenix market has never been like a stronghold for right. You know, uh, pay per views. Let alone mm-hmm. like even even selling out house shows. You know, like they just that it's more of a of a lax laid back kind of crowd. You know, it's not like yeah. a Chicago, a Philly, a Texas, like you mentioned, a Bay Area. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, maybe there's a, a deal in there somewhere where the. Uh, who knows? Maybe the XFL will play a game there or something, and this was the deal. Nah. Yeah, you know, they, you never know. You never but know. But it's, it's and they try to make it a mini WrestleMania with access and everything. But I don't see people just flying into Phoenix, Arizona, for Royal Rumble like they do WrestleMania. Yeah, it's it's just not. It's it's the destination. I think. I think it being for Phoenix in January. It's not like it's Phoenix for Mania. It, that's different. That's just different. But Phoenix for for uh, for the Rumble, it's like, yeah, you want to be in a hot area. That's good, but it's that that destination. It's like that's what that Phoenix is a is Phoenix is a retirement destination. You know. It is. Yeah, that, yeah. Let's, let's speaking of retirement, let's move on to the the pre show. <laughs> Of the pre-show mm-hmm. this card, we will have Buddy Murphy taking on Callisto, taking on Tazawa, uh, taking on, hey, Hideo Tommy. Where did he come from? No, I'm just kidding. Hideo Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the Cruiserweight mm-hmm. Championship, it's good to see Hideo Tommy being actually um, not injured and actually on TV on a regular basis. I know he's on 205 uh, Live, um, but some people totally forgot him out. He was Triple H's top draft pick years ago. <laughs> it didn't that pan was out. years ago. Yeah. Years ago. Hey, so champ, uh, let's let me I'll actually I'll start with Wizard. Wizard, who you got winning this? Does Buddy Murphy retain? Uh yeah. It it just it just feels like there's for somebody else to take it off of Buddy Murphy now, at this point it didn't have to be a one on one type of situation. I, I don't I don't think you give Hideo the belt in this circumstance. I think Hideo's the next champion. Uh you never know. They could surprise us when he gets it then, but I don't. I don't think I would waste it on that match. I, I think I'd let Buddy run with it a little more. Champ, who you got here? Yeah, let Buddy rock with it. You know, um, he's definitely got star power on this level. Um, yeah, he does. He's a you know he's a visual draw. There's a lot of people that like him from you know the uh, international uh, market. So I say he, he's going to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely see. I think Buddy does keep this here. Um, I think Hideo Tommy puts on a good show, and I think Hideo Tommy needs to put on a good show to try to get some of these fans uh, who does not know him or do not remember what he used to be able to do in Japan to uh, come over to his side. Or people who don't watch 205 Live, because you have a lot of people who watch this pre-show who don't know any of these guys in the ring whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. Because WWE has stopped showing 205 live matches on Raw, stopped showing them on, on SmackDown. They just mentioned 205, but nobody knows who these guys are until you see a pay-per-view. and like, oh, they got WWE got a new belt? Yeah, so, pretty much. Pretty much. And hey, let's move on here. Uh, we move on to Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Rusev for the United States Championship. It's like they just threw this match out of nowhere onto the pre-show card. Yeah, I don't like how they did that, but that's another thing. Go ahead. Champ, who yeah, you got? I don't like any I don't like anything they've done with Shinsuke today since WrestleMania and I see this following suit. Uh Rusev is going to uh maintain his momentum and keep moving forward and I just believe yeah. that Shinsuke is gonna be on ice until SummerSlam. Yeah, it's 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 something about I don't even think that far. It's they got to do something with him. Um, I think what's going to end up happening is they're going to, once, 
once AEW really starts to get up and rolling, that's where we're going to see a lot of these guys that we feel we either been forgotten about or need to be pushed. We're going to really start seeing them push them. I think Shinsuke is one of them. So I I feel as though we eventually he's one of those people they put they 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 build him up and they broke him down. He's going to be just like Austin in the sense that they you know. We remember a couple months ago, we were like, what in the world happened to Oscar? Not only is she losing, like, she's in a terrible program and working tag matches, like, and now all of a sudden, she is the champion again. I mean, not again. Yeah. She's the champion. Right. So, I think that's what's going to end up happening. We're going to have, especially with uh, SmackDown rolling into that Fox deal that SmackDown's gonna have a lot more wrestling on it. Uh, yeah, you you we're gonna have these smaller guys being champion, especially WWE champion on SmackDown. Like you're gonna have your Daniel Bryan, your AJ Styles. You know, you never know. Maybe a Finn Balor goes over there, or you know, or, or Seth Rollins or something. And Shinsuke, those 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 technical wrestlers. We're gonna be in an era of technical wrestler WWE champions for a long time. I think your big guy mm-hmm. champion will still be on Raw, and that's where you'll have your Lesnar, your, you know, Roman Reigns, uh, Braun Strowman, all those guys. They'll be champion over there, but your, your technical champions are definitely going to be on SmackDown. Yeah, I, th- I think we, I think we all on the same page. I think Rusev does get the win, but I think Nakamura has a good showing. Um, I think uh, as a, I also agree with you. And when, when AEW gets running up, these guys right here, like Nakamura, who's been rumored to be uh, on an AEW list, I think they start getting the push that he deserves. I think the problem with Nakamura is that he hasn't had the de- correct dance partners in the WWE. You got AJ Styles doing his thing. You got Daniel Bryan, you know, being the um, WWE champion right now, and Nakamura has really got kind of yeah. lost. In a mix of things. I agree with lost in the shuffle. Yeah, he got lost in the shuffle. Well, not only lost in the shuffle, he he they they didn't rush him and AJ, but pretty much because only AJ because AJ is pretty much one of the only people you can get good matches out of with Shinsuke because of the dance partner. AJ was so white hot that AJ wasn't losing. So unfortunately, you know. Shinsuke becomes a casualty of losing to AJ, not because he's not good enough to beat him, but it was like AJ was so white hot, you weren't taking the belt off. He, AJ was legitimately the best person, the best wrestler in the company. Yeah, he was the best wrestler in the company. He was. So he wasn't losing. Wasn't losing. Wasn't losing at all. And it, and Cassina was gone. AJ was the best man. Daniel Bryan wasn't back yet, and uh, AJ was the best guy in the company. I totally agree with that. Well, let's move on to the main card, main matches on the card. I think this will be the first match. We got the, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Titles, Shane McMahon and The Miz taking on The Bar. Champ, who you got here? Uh, I think The Bar. Uh, I don't know. You you call that one, Wiz. Oh well, sure. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Shane McMahon and Miz. It's just the way it's been built up. They've been. I think ultimately, I'm gonna way out here foreshadow. I think we're eventually gonna get Shane versus Miz at WrestleMania. Yeah. And I think Shane and Miz winning the tag title will be part of that storyline development. So yeah, they're they're gonna beat the bar. Yeah, I think they beat the bar here, but I think the bar gets the title back before WrestleMania. Maybe Elimination Chamber. I agree. Somewhere down the line there, um, I think Shane in. The Miz are becoming SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they end up losing it, um, and they have a feud. Uh, it's, it's going that way. Uh, Shane McMahon gets a match right. at WrestleMania against The Miz, and we all know The Miz is a, the Miz is a prime time player, uh, and The Miz, it, Miz, The Miz is most Mister Consistent. He's always with the WWE. He's always with the company. He is a company. I'm don't want, he's he's a company guy now. The Miz is a company. He's guy. the Marine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. The, the, he's, he is absolutely the Marine. That and it's funny you say that. Because John Cena did what the first what two? Did yeah. he do the first two, one or two? He did the first two. Randy Orton yeah. was going to do one. The Marines said nope, nope. He got dishonorably discharged yeah. from the Marines, and y'all not putting him in this movie. Yeah. So Miz has done the last what three or four? Three, four. I think they're on seven right now. Well, I mean, well, they they had six come out last year. So yeah, six. 
Was he was he in Marine three, four, five, and six? Yes, he's in the Marine. Yeah, he's in. He did four of them. So John Cena was the first two, right? I'm assuming. So okay. Yeah. Okay, that that makes sense then. Yeah, no, but, but Miz is the Marine. Let's not let's not deviate from that. He's he's definitely the Marine. He's he he is Mister Marine. All right. Well, we all agree here that the Miz and and uh, Shane McMahon gets the title here. Uh, over the bar, but the bar eventually gets him back. And then we move on to Sasha Banks taking on Ronda Rousey for the Raw Champion Raw Women's Championship. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, wait a minute. Let me correct myself. This is one we actually forgot about. The John Cena was the first Marine. The second Marine what, was Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. Oh, that's right, Ted DiBiase. Oh, Ted, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ted Junior. Yeah. Oh wow! And then Miz, Miz picked up from number three. Got gotcha. so, you. Hey, well, they did everything they could to get Ted DiBiase over, and that didn't even help him, did it? Dang, it sure didn't, man. <laughs> everything they could, he couldn't even get the. I'm stop. I can't get the movie right. I'm not gonna do that. Not. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, Ronda Rousey taking on Sasha Banks here, champ. I'm gonna start with you since this is the money fight for you. You love Ronda. What what you see here? No, I don't, man. Like, I, I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm ready for her to go. Um, I really think that she needs to be utilized the way they use Brock, because, like, every time you see her, you know, familiarity breeds content, you know, mm-hmm. and she's very talented. I think she's proven herself in the ring. Uh, Her mic work is where it's going to be, you know, for a while. I I just don't see the writers giving her any new material that's going to be landmark because of all of the constraints. Uh, Matchup-wise, the Sasha Banks thing is just, you know, to pass the time to get to Mania, uh, when we still don't know what the situation is going to be with that. Uh, I'm I'm actually, I'm actually, I I say she's going to win, but I hope she wins and then she's in limited action until Mania, you you know, know, because there's, there's still things that have to be figured out with Becky, with Charlotte, uh, you know, uh, there's still some things that have to be figured out at this point. I think she's going to win, but the writing really has to pick up on both ends. You know, you said something that was key there, I think with her. She wanted to make sure she's not like Brock when she first came. So that's why we get to the point of used to seeing her on Monday Night Raw each and every week. Because that's what she wants. Yeah. To, you know, she had she had to do that to build the credibility with the fans. Now, I agree with you now. She can take a hiatus, and I think everybody be okay with it. But when she first came, she had to do it. She had to be on Raw every week. I was going to say the exact same thing, Glenn, was that because of the already stinky stigma that Brock Lesnar had of being – that guy who only showed up, fans were going to turn on Ronda quick if she ended up yeah, being well, that well, one. Yeah, well, no, 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 I get it, I get it, you know, and it's not a right. problem, like, now that she's done right. it, but now it's time to spread it out, you know? Right, okay, yeah, absolutely. I agree, okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough, I totally agree with that, I agree with that. I can agree uh, with that. Was it who you got, Sasha Banks or Ronda Rousey? Uh, I, this is where they're trying to build up credible opponents to make Ronda look credible with whoever she ends up with with Mania. So, unfortunately, Sasha Banks is the first casualty of that. So, it's going to be Ronda Rousey winning that. And we are we are we for, are we completely sold that it's going to be Ronda, Charlotte, Becky, uh, you know, in that whole triple threat? Because something we alluded to earlier in the show, if if Shayla loses on Saturday night, I think we may get the full horsewoman thing sooner than planned. Especially with that whole rumor swirling around with when exactly Ronda's leaving. We may get that sooner than expected. And if that's the case, you may have a Fasha win. Especially if, Ron, if, if Becky and Charlotte end up being the ones that cost Ronda her championship. Yeah, you you may get a you return. You may end up, you know what I'm saying. You get a return match. You get Shayna Baszler. You know, it, it, you may end up getting 
the four horse women against each other sooner than expected. I, I, I don't think it happens, but you can't rule it out at this point. No, you can't because, because it, what happened? Something, something feels weird that Ronda, Becky, Charlotte was written in stone by 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 everybody too prematurely. And what better way to, to give her a loss by her having Ronda or Becky get an interview with it and her getting a loss? That way. Yeah. You know, if you want to give her a loss, you don't give it a clean, she won't get a clean loss. You, not nobody's going to beat her clean. Right. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. And, and, and look what she did to Becky and Charlotte uh, just when, when Oscar won the title. She interfered in table lads mm-hmm. cheers and cost them the title. This might right. be the get back time. Yeah, for, I can, yeah. I can see that. You know. But for purposes of staying, you know, just by the book instead of, you know, far out fantasy booking, Ronda wins it and you just keep it moving. Does she, she makes the tap out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sasha, yeah. Get, get yeah. out of here. Get out of here. Sasha, <laughs> Sasha with the tap out. I do I do think uh, Sasha gets uh, Ronda in the bank statement. Oh, yeah, but Ronda will get out of that. Ronda's gotten out of everything else. They yeah. really, I'll put it this way. They, they, they book Ronda to where she looks superhuman as far as in there with, but rightfully so. I mean, she could legitimately beat up everybody. So, I mean, why not have her, you know, kicking out of people's spinners or rolling out of more? I mean, it's, it's legitimate. She, she's, she she's, really a, she's, a, she's a judo. She's a judo. She's a medalist in Olympic judo. So, right. you know, what what is Sasha going to do? And you know what? I, I have this issue. I'm glad we brought this up. Because here's mm-hmm. where I think AEW can strike. And I know I missed those couple of episodes. No. One of the things I read in the press release and I heard in the interview was that they want to speak more to the spirit of competition and they want to look at the performers as athletes. And I remember the, uh, the all-in walkout uh, that Cody did. And I remember the press conference, for, you know, preceding the walkout. And it gave it a big fight feel because there was a touch of a shoot to it. I'm not saying it had to be 100% shoot, but the competitive nature of it was drawn out with their presentation. And WWE could do this, but they don't want to do it for, you know, obviously traditional reasons, so to say. I think AEW can capitalize on that because, you know, you have to suspend your disbelief for this level of entertainment, and I understand it. But to throw something in there once in a blue to make people wonder if it's real or not, or make people even question, you know, the possibility of, hey, wait a minute, did that, was that, ri-? you know, things like that are what bring new people in and keep the old people there. And right. I just think that it's just underserved with the, the lack of realism to it. Like, for example, you know, this, this is what bothers me the most about the whole Nia Jack situation. You have this woman proclaiming that she's six feet tall, 285 or 300 pounds plus, what have you, Yet she cannot beat a five one, ninety five pound Alexa Bliss. Yet she cannot get out of a maneuver by a five four, one hundred and two pound Sa- Sasha Banks. Like the legit. Right. If you're gonna make her lose, let her lose a different way. Let's be creative with her finishes, so that way she maintains credibility. And subconsciously, the crowd knows it. And when she comes out. It's not even a boo. It's they almost ignore her presence now because of yeah. The way you, that's the funny finish. you say that. Cause I said the same thing. I was like, I said recently. I was like, I saw Nia come out. I was like, hmm, do they even care that she's there? And I no, and it's not, not no disrespect to Nia, but it's like they booked her so bad when she loses. It's like she loses. Like she loses to where you're not even believing she can beat somebody in a rematch. Like, she's not hitting her head on a post. She's not knocking herself out. Like, she's just losing. Like, she's taking a finisher and taking a clean L. But, but you I'm know what? Like, they, they, they always booked her like that. We go back to when she was NXT. What? She tapped out to what, with Bailey. To Bailey, yeah. When she was undefeated. Sure did. Her first loss was to Bailey, and she tapped out. Yep. So they've always booked her that way. Or, and that sucks. Even, <laughs> even worse, you're right, even worse, 
Becky Lynch walks up to her, punches her in the face, and she doesn't do anything. Yeah, she got punked. Sure didn't. Sure didn't. Whoever wrote that should be yeah. ashamed of themselves. That was, yeah, that yeah. was a bad, because it was just like, whoa, like, really? You going to have Becky punch her, just snuff her out like that, and have her not do anything? Yeah. They killed. They killed. They killed her character. Like to be honest, if I'm her, I'm looking at the days on my contract, and I'm going to Hollywood, because she can. She can easily be in like Glow season three, or something like that. She got modeling career. <laughs> right. She got money. You she know what? It. If she learned, if she learned how to act, she'd be big in Hollywood anyway. I think just because how many women you got walking around like that, that size, not, not that it, many exactly. She would stand out. And not even that. She's, yeah. she's, she's pretty too. And not to mention her cousin, her cousin's The Rock, who owns a Seven Bucks Entertainment. Right. Her cousin's the biggest movie star on the planet right now. So, <laughs> by, hold on, hold on. By the way, speaking of him, two things. One, he just put out a picture on Instagram of like a scene from uh, Hobbs and Shaw. And I guess he's revealing his new physique because he went into a particular type of trainer regimen for this particular film. I'll just go to say, like, I left the gym. I left the gym. I was done my reps for the day. Opened up Instagram, saw that photo, exhaled, said, what the hell, man? Went back in the gym. Because this yeah. dude, I don't know what he's eating. Uh, I don't know who he's eating. A lot. But his, a lot. His, a lot a his, day. His, his trainer has him in peak form, to which that makes me think. That if you're selling these WrestleMania tickets for this price, you <laughs> just might get an appearance. Because he's in wrestling form. He's not just in movie form. He's in pro yeah, wrestling. I'm looking form. at this. I'm looking at the picture now. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. You may. You may just get that. You may just definitely get that at WrestleMania 35. But let's go back onto the Royal Rumble. Here we move on. We got as we talked about of punking people. The man Becky Lynch takes on Oscar here uh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Champ, I know you like Becky Lynch. You love you love her persona, and you got a lot of talk. We have outside of conversations about Becky all the time. So, who you got winning this one? I got Oscar winning. Swerve. Okay. They just put it. They just put it on her. I think Becky loses, but she can also go into the Rumble. Uh, something can happen with Charlotte. Like that. This storyline actually with the women is the the most. Um, and, you know, this is the story that has the most suspense because you don't know which way it can go. Um, so, yeah, I don't see her beating Oscar because Oscar just got it. But I see her inserting herself, being reinserted into the title picture some way, somehow. Yeah, for, for me, it's, it's all about placement of this match. If she gets involved in a Ronda Rousey match and this match is afterwards, then I can see her losing to Oscar. I see her losing to Oscar, but I, somewhere I think she gets the title. I, I want to say she beats Oscar here, and there goes Ronda or Charlotte, who's going to fight Becky. I think she, I just think Becky goes into the Royal Rumble as the champion, whether she gets that elimination chamber or whatever the case may be. I see Becky going, in, and I know Oscar just got it, but they need another tag team partner for. They need a tag team partner for Naomi for the elimination chamber, and I think it's going to be Oscar. I, I I gotta agree with uh, Champ Cree. I just don't see Oscar. We just built Oscar back up. And for her to lose it to Becky, even though it is Becky, for her to lose it right again, that would really kill Oscar. Now, Oscar's winning this. Yeah. I don't even think it's close. All right. You got Oscar. Uh, you know, let me. Uh, I go with the man. But let's move on. <laughs> We move on to the next match of the night. Uh, we got Daniel Bryan taking on AJ Styles. Now, mind you, I said earlier that Tommaso Ciampa was the best heel in the WWE. Uh, a, uh, Daniel Bryan is number two. Oh, yeah. By far, Daniel Absolutely. Bryan is the number two heel uh, in all of WWE with the, within the last 12 months because the, what Daniel Bryan is doing right now and how he changed his persona and changed who he is, uh, it's amazing that you can't get a yes chant nowhere in the arena. He's totally built himself as a heel. Yeah. He's a beast. He's the second best heel in the company right, right. now. Right. But, uh, and that goes to my point where people say it's hard to build a heel in today's society based under the PG, PG persona. Daniel Bryan did it. 
did. Yeah, but you know, Daniel, today, today was crazy. This is not taking away from Daniel or anything. He definitely then had about two years at least to work on this character. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, unfortunately with the circumstances, he was out. But he was out. Like, he wasn't on the road, you know, where it was like, okay, we got to try to develop his character, you know, on the fly. He he intricately fought this out to where he had a plan. He, had, he knew how to execute it. He was ready. And... Right. Per, you know, perfect timing that he had a, you know, a, a, a great, you know, face to go against. I mean, honestly, this probably could have worked against the Shinsuke too, but he had an AJ style where this heel turn worked perfectly. It did. It did. Who you got winning? Oh, I'm definitely going. Um, I'm going Daniel Bryan. I, I'm not even. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. It, same I'm, here. Yeah. It's it's something about it now that Daniel Daniel's too he's too much on a roll to where I won't say I won't go as far as and say that Daniel makes it all the way to Mania as champion. He could. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that he can't, but he's at least going through Rumble as a champion. He, he, I think there's other plans for AJ Styles. I do. I do too. Or maybe I think, I think... AJ gets it later, right before Mania. But yeah, Daniel Daniel's winning this. I think Daniel wins this too, boy. How lucky is a WWE that Daniel Bryan got cleared before this whole AEW situation? Well, oh yeah. yeah. Well, well, they're the ones that cleared him. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'm saying is this: they because if they would have held, if they would have held off, I, I get what you're saying. If they would have held off, yeah. wouldn't have renewed his contract. He would have been the guy that made a big. He thought Chris Jericho's announcement was big. Can you imagine Daniel Bryan walking out there at Jacksonville Stadium? Yeah, that would have been bigger than Jericho, absolutely. Because that, yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they got fortunate that this happened the way it did. That, and they're fortunate that Daniel fought it the way he did too. Because Daniel, you know, like you were just saying, Daniel could have gave up in the sense of trying to get cleared by them. And just waited it out and then left. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's clear and he goes AEW, like you said. And all of a sudden you, you got you got Chris Jericho and you got Daniel Bryan. My. Goodness. Uh, uh, are we gonna hear anything from CM Punk about this situation? Uh, you know he's always a wild card to where I'm like, okay, you never know. He may end up showing up in AEW, but honestly. I really believe how he just looks to where he doesn't want to wrestle again. I pretty much believe him. Like, I don't think he'll wrestle again. Yeah, Unless I think the he's price done. is right. Yeah, I think he's done. I think the money is, is too good to him. I mean, I think he's got, he's pretty, uh, from what I hear, been pretty good with his money, doing different ventures. Uh, I don't think AEW is where he needs to be. No, no, that is his type. Now, that is his, that now, is his crowd. If AEW though. gets hot, if they get hot, if they if they really pick up steam, like a la WCW, then I could see Punk really wanting to stick at WWE and showing up there. I could see that. That's the only. That's the only reason why I see him doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. He don't start with if he does if he, he if he don't start with him then he'll join later once they get smoking hot so I agree with that. Well, yeah, that's what that's exactly what I'm saying. I I think I think Punk I think what it is in, in which I wouldn't blame him if it is this I think it's to where he needs to see how they do. I don't think he I mean I don't think he wants his legacy wrestling legacy to be he leaves WWE so auspiciously and then. He shows up to a failing AEW, right? Because then it looks like then, from him from a personal standpoint, it's going to look like if AEW fails, it's going to look like he's crawling back to WWE, and I think it's probably going to let him look like that. Yeah. So I think if he shows up in AEW, AEW's got to be rocking and rolling. And he don't want to be referred to Kevin Nash or Scott Hall. Just go there just to get the money. Yep. Just to get the money. Let's move on here. Brock Lesnar taking on Finn Balor for the Universal Championship. Yeah, yeah let's talk about this one. 
Yeah, no, first question, do we get Finn Balor or do we get the Demon? It's, well, it, 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 hold on. Go ahead, undefeated. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, he's, un, he's undefeated. He's undefeated as Demon King, right? Yep. Yes. So why would he not come in as the Demon King, going it, up against? That, that's Rock. logic. That's kayfabe logic. That yeah. That's K, that's K, kayfabe that. logic. We're gonna we're gonna say kayfabe logic now. Now, with that situation, <laughs> if mm-hmm. Brock. Obliterate him as the demon king. Yeah, see, that would be hilarious. Yeah, now see, long term, that see, that's where I'm gonna be on my. Ch- I'm gonna put my Chet Creed hat on. Long term mm-hmm. marketing. If you want to keep the demon character as viable financial, if you're not gonna have him win as that, don't have him come out as that against Lesnar. Because if Lesnar, like you just said, if Lesnar kills him. As the Demon King, there's no, I mean, there's still marketable value in it, but it's like, yo, he lost bad. And, it would know, take it would take you at least five Lesnar. years to forget about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he if he did see now, if he he could lose at that and put up a fight, but because there's no shame in losing to Lesnar. To Lesnar. I mean, Taker has proven that the streak has gone to Lesnar. There's no shame in losing a Lesnar, but it's like, don't go out there and get suplexed 15 times and then lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go out there and do that. Because if Brock picks him up and throws him around like it's nothing, yeah, no problem. <laughs> right, that's what, you're exactly right. If they do Wait, it like that, that would be, there's a problem. That would be... That would be years of build up of an invincible character just thrown away for the sake for the sake the fact of the sake I don't I can't even talk yo, right now. Yo, hold on. Shout out to saying, shout hey, out to that guy Darius who says guy that here. either way that Finn Balor loses it, it will hurt him whichever way it goes. Darius, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but we but no, but if, he, yeah. But, but if he but if he but if he loses the G King, like that would show you how much. The, the writing staff is all over this whole old oh, Brockster <laughs> UFC champion. Like that that would be them cannibalizing their characters now. That's what it would be. It would no longer be about writing, competition, the baby face coming back. It would be them pretty much cannibalizing stuff, just like they cannibalized Nia Jack's character. Just like they almost yeah. cannibalized uh, Oscar's character. Just like they're cannibalizing Shinsuke's character. Like, they are not thinking long-term. This writing staff, this core, right, and I'm, I don't like to compare them to the Attitude Era or the Ruthless Aggression Era, what have you, or even the early PG Era. I'll, I'll even, I don't like to do that because we've already had those arguments. But this current core of writers that they have, they have not exhibited the ability to properly pivot from the long-term game plan and give the fans things that are captivating, make sense, not kill off characters, and give new char- give old characters new life, right? Yeah. They have not been able to do it. Most, most people, you know, they boo Roman Reigns, and, you know, but it shows you how important he was to the show because ever since he left, this thing has been horrible. Like, I, I feel like they I, – I, I was going to throw in a Vince Russo joke, but even Vince Russo had the ability to pivot. Like, yeah, he, shout out to them they, building they, Oscar back up too. Cause yeah, that, but, was, that, that was, was bad. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, they, that they was had, dead. Hold up. They had to build her back up so they can get to the Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda because nobody else wanted the title. <laughs> well, they could. Well, you know what? They couldn't put it on nobody else because, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I love her as a person, but the way they book Naomi right now, you ain't putting it on her. Nope. You ain't putting it on, uh, you know, you're not putting it on Mandy or Sonya right now. Nope. So you ain't giving it to the Iconics I mean, right now. Nope. So realistically, you you were at Oscar by default. Yeah. <laughs> or you kept mm. it on Carmella, but she wasn't, uh, as they say, pure well, wrestling Carmella champion. Carmella just had it, so you was yeah. good. You was good. So we all got Brock Lesnar winning here, right? <laughs> uh... It depends. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's you not know, a listen, 
Yo, there's, there's no way in the world. I, how y'all even think about it? There's no way in the world Brock Lesnar's not going to WrestleMania as the Universal Champion. Because he's got to sell those tickets. You, you know what, though? That's the only reason I'll give you to say. Because, because, because this hot shot of Finn into there, I mean, there's got to be a reason. Unless, and, you know, I mentioned this. I mentioned this to Darius and a few friends. If you... If you go Finn and he loses, I mean, you could still go enter Finn into the Rumble and he wins that. You could go that route. You know, you could you could possibly do that. But it's something other than I think there's more to Braun. Even if Braun wasn't clear, I mean, was clear. I'm not too sold that we would have had Braun. We wouldn't have had Braun removed from it anyway. It's something about Braun that some some kind of steam or something has been lost with Braun to where... Oh, yeah, horrible. Get to, horrible. You know what I'm saying? Like Even if Braun was horrible. healthy, I could see them removing him out of that match anyway uh, and he, putting a fan or somebody in there. Okay. Speaking of that, so Darius commented again. Darius uh, on Facebook watching this is commenting. He says this, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor will sell as much as Brock and Seth. Wait, what? Tickets? No. They, they say it again. What, what was right. it? What did he say? He said he, a part of him feels like Seth and Finn at WrestleMania will sell as much as Brock and Seth because we people say Seth Rollins will be the guy at the Royal, at WrestleMania. Unfortunately, who, who can take on Brock. Unfortunately, and I was saying the same thing. Seth lost a lot of steam now too, mm-hmm. and it's to where I mean, yeah, Seth would have to win the. You could go Seth and Finn. You could, but the only problem with that is you're going to need a counterbalance with that as far as star power because that turns in – because last year, remember, you had Shinsuke and AJ. That was your – like your purest match. But on the other side of that, you had Brock and Roman. You, you got to have that counterbalance with that because you can't uh, – and I love all of them, but you're not going to have – Seth Finn, comma, uh, AJ, DB. You're not going to have that. It's not going to sell. I mean, granted, most of it's already sold anyway, but the the, the buildup behind it, it's like, are you really going? And, and I get it. Like, I love all of them from the pure wrestling standpoint, but I also understand, like, you know, like Champ Creed says, you got to sell tickets. So it's like people will want to see Seth and Finn, but unless you're going with some kind of major swerve in that match, it's kind of like, okay, how – it's the counterbalance of the, the big guy, you know. And unfortunately, that's where we're at. But it's like you're going to have – you're going to have that, that big attraction type match because, I mean, shoot, even my guy, you weren't going to ever have Sean, you know, in that situation either. You always had Sean with – some kind of other big guy, yeah. realistically. So, and that's unfortunately that's where we're at. That they're going to try to sell tickets with that. But you, but you know what? My thing on this is you can have this appearance at WrestleMania, but my thing is you got Brock, and and we still haven't even talked about the Rumble yet because if we get a Royal right. winner, they have to go for the Universal Championship, correct? To yeah. my understanding. Yeah. Um. No. 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 But, you no. Pick your champion. You can pick whoever you want. That's right. Okay, you can pick your champion. That's right. Sensuke picked his champion last year. Uh, so mm-hmm. we don't even know who wins the Rumble. So it, it's all about placement of matches for me. I think the Rumble should – the men Rumble should be last. We know last year we had the women's Rumble. That was the first – you know, that was the first Rumble of the women. My hat's off to them. That's fine. Do what you got to do. But this year I think the men Rumble should be last. Yeah, I think it will be. I um, think it will be. It probably be- will be this time. Because you have to be yeah. able to say, okay, Brock wins – then we could like okay the rumble winner is gonna if if Brock wins AJ I mean and Daniel Bryan wins we figure okay the winner of the rumble is gonna go after the universal championship just in my opinion mm. okay you know I'm just saying you know but now I can see where Finn Balor could get the win over Brock and maybe Brock get it back at elimination chamber something like that I can see Finn getting it. he's been pushed down so much that you know from Vince McMahon shunning him to saying that he wasn't the star. The, the, the way they just building this matchup, I can see 
where there's a possibility that Finn Balor gets a win over Brock Lesnar. But I don't. Yeah, think I, I can't. I can't completely rule it out as a. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I just it. can't rule it out. Yeah, I, I'll give you that. I can't. I can't go 100 percent Brock either. As much as I would want to. Yeah. Because it seems like Brock is definitely gonna walk into WrestleMania as champion. Just the the swerve of this being like somehow they they ended up getting Finn into this match. It feels like. Oh, they could really continue with this swerve and just go completely. Uh, yeah, they can go completely with Finn winning. It. I believe he can. Hmm. He will walk out. I think Brock won't walk out of WrestleMania as a champion, though. No, I, 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 I don't, I don't think, think so either. either. I don't think so either. Yeah. All right. So let's move move on here. Let's move on to what what was the main event, the Royal Rumble. We're going to start with the Women's Royal Rumble. Who do you guys have winning this? With it, you first? No. Yeah. Before we get to, before we get yeah. to winners, who do you have being a guest entrance at the Women's Royal Rumble? As we mentioned on, uh, as I mentioned on my Raw report and on the SmackDown report I did earlier this week, right now there are 23 slots that we already know are going to be, 23 participants that we already know. There's seven slots for surprise guests. I, I can't. I can't even. I can't yeah, even. Guess, yeah, I wouldn't even try. Yeah, wouldn't even try. Yeah. All right. No surprise, women. I think we may get uh, Trish Stratus no, we'll again. Get surprises. I can't even tell you who who it would be though. We'll get surprises. Yeah, we may get. We may get Trish. No, I think we may get a Trish. We may get a Lita. Now there've been rumors out there. We that may is, even get a Karma. Even, that rumors. ain't even surprising no more. Trish and Lita. Anybody else past that? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I wouldn't appreciate seeing them, but it's like we've seen them. Like right. <laughs> they've been on recently. Right. You got you got Layla, whose name been thrown out there. Like I said, Karma's name been thrown out there. You know, to be in the Rumble. So, just a couple. But okay, who do you have winning? So are you with? Okay. I more and more as this develops. I don't think a Charlotte or a Becky need to win the Rumble to get to Ronda if that's where they're going. So you go with somebody else. And that's what I was Oscar, thinking. And, 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 and at this point, the winner of the Rumble is going to face Oscar. Are you and ready? I, 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 I'm ready to start. Hold on. Go I, ahead. I think for a fresh start, I think you go Ember Moon. I think that's going to be my boom. pick. There, there we go. That's what I, I was just going to say that. I'm on it. Yeah. I, I'm going to go Ember Moon. Good pick there. I mean, because they, they, they had a good stuff in NXT. Uh, Ember Moon and Asuka. I think you can start that rivalry over. I think Ember Moon is getting lost in on the she Raw brand. She needs a fresh start on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. she needs a fresh start on SmackDown. I wasn't going to say Ember Moon. I, I really wasn't. I was going to say that one of the losers was going to get the, the shot. Like, if Sasha loses, I think Sasha was going to get the shot um, to be herself in the Rumble and then get a shot. So, huh, but you said Ember Moon, and I really didn't even think about Ember, so I'm going to have to go with you on that one. I think Ember Moon wins, win the, wins the Royal Rumble. I really do. I, I agree yeah, with you on that. I think Ember Moon wins the Royal Rumble. Yeah, because, if, Sasha didn't, if Sasha wasn't already getting this shot, I would have maybe said Sasha because you could get something new with Sasha versus Oscar in that sense over on SmackDown. But no, I'm 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 definitely putting Ember in that spot. It, it's gonna be Ember Moon. Okay. All right, let's go to the men. And I'm gonna start here because I mentioned earlier. I think Bobby Lashley's in the Final Four, and and truth be told, oh, that's yeah. my pick. I think Bobby Lashley wins the Rumble. That's a nice. That's a nice pick. Because, That's and I say nice that because pick. I think Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar will sell a lot of tickets. And yeah. as you mentioned it's earlier, the, as the, you mentioned earlier, that, Seth has lost, Seth has lost steam. Dean Ambrose ain't nowhere in the picture, and Finn Balor just got, just got a shot. What better way to get Bobby Lashley, who came back just to face Brock Lesnar? Yeah, Brock. that's your that's your counter. That's your counter to your you know your purest wrestling match. Because it's going to be Daniel Bryan and an AJ, or AJ Styles. One of them are going to be in a title picture. And I think your counterbalance with your big man 
is going to end up being, you know, Brock Lesnar and somebody. Bobby Lashley was a good pick. That's not my pick. That's a good pick. Um, you know what? For the sake of it, I'm still going to roll with Seth Rollins. I'm, I'm still going to roll with Seth Rollins. That, that's my pick. I'm going to roll with him. Champ, who you got? I would want to say Bray Wyatt, but I don't even know if he's with the company anymore. <laughs> he is. He still, he still is. He still is. I'm, I'm going to have to go with Elias. Wow. Wow. Ooh. That's not a bad pick. I, I'm going to ask you yeah. guys. Nobody said Drew McIntyre. What's up? A couple months ago, a couple months ago, we was all on Drew McIntyre. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Drew McIntyre is going to be in the main event of of WrestleMania, but he's not going to win the Rumble. Okay. He's not going to win it. I think Drew gets it at SummerSlam, honestly, but fair enough. You know, I just said, you know, we was all on Drew McIntyre. We're like, we done jumped off that bandwagon. No no one's saying Braun Strowman? No No one thinks Braun gets his WrestleMania moment? No. Or was it WrestleMania Braun, moment last year when he Braun won the tag team favorite. titles with a 10-year-old? I don't think Braun is in favor right now. I, I think he may end I, up I, in the match. He may end up in the match somehow, but no, nah, I don't think he's in favor right now. Yeah, I don't think he's in favor right now. I think he's going to win the Rumble. Are you, are they really committing to Braun Strowman? I don't that's think so. My, that's my thing. I don't think so either. I don't think so. If they were going to give it to him, they would have gave it to him already. He would have got it already. Yeah. Like I said, I think I just look at from the business standpoint, Lashley can talk. He has a big military background. He's an African-American guy. Lashley Lashley has somebody talking for him. But nonetheless, go ahead. He got somebody. Yes, he got somebody talking for him now. But he can do TV interviews without Leo Rush. Well, yeah. I mean, he's he's a... But then then it wouldn't be be entertaining. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. True. I, I think you can do a Leo Rush on today's show with Bobby Lashley. It would be entertaining. It would. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Uh, any surprise guests in the men's side? Uh, no surprise guests. No surprise guests, but folks, I got to check out just as fast as I checked in. Um, <laughs> my, my my surprise guest, Kenny Omega. And I'll mm-hmm. leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Hey, good night, man. Hey, but you know, before uh, we wrap this thing up, with it? I just think we we might get a couple men surprises. Uh, maybe somebody from NXT. Maybe it's somebody that we have not thought about. Maybe a returning Bray Wyatt, as Champ alluded to earlier. Uh, we may get him. Uh, we may get uh, some of these guys. A Kevin Owens, a Sami Zayn. Some of the guys that have been out, been hurt. Yeah, fair enough. I hear that. I mean, uh, hey, that was our Royal Rumble prediction. Before everybody goes out of here, make sure we. Make sure you hit us up on Twitter. Uh, make sure you hit us up on uh, Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the show on YouTube, wherever you else, uh, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever else you get your social media. Make sure you hit that five star review. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys for joining us online. Who left comments? We're gonna try to do this each and every week where we on our Facebook, where we on YouTube at the same time. Just giving you what we feel and what we thought about professional wrestling. We are just guys who like professional wrestling. Also check us out on Patreon, where you can go to Patreon.com backslash wrestling marks of excellence please support the program and help us out with it as always it's been a pleasure take us home hey if you're not confirmed consider yourself tonight ladies and gentlemen good night enjoy your royal rumble and catch you next week <laughs>